In this video, we'll explore some advanced techniques for working with supports in 3D printing. In previous videos, we demonstrated how to use the support painting tool, allowing you to paint supports exactly where you need them using the left mouse button. However, there are times when you might not want supports in certain areas that are automatically generated. To remove supports, you can simply use the right mouse button, just like you do when adding them. In addition to paint blocking, there are a few helpful shortcuts to improve your workflow. To erase all support painting, you can hold Shift and the left mouse button together. You can quickly adjust your brush size by holding Alt on PC or Control on Mac and scrolling with the mouse wheel. The following model is designed to be printed without supports, but because it's tall and thin, adding supports can help improve the print success rate by providing a stability as the part becomes taller. You can manually add supports by painting or by using a support enforcer. To do this, right click on the model, scroll down to support enforcer, and choose a primitive shape. Then scale the shape to cover the area where you need the support. Finally, ensure that support is enabled in the settings and that the support type is set to manual for either normal or tree supports. In our next video, we'll go over some tips and tricks for model painting.